Hello, this is Mr. Posada, and this is just a quick tutorial on the basics of the GeoGebra CAS calculator. Alright, so just so you know, just to repeat, if you look at this one for the first time, this video versus my other videos, uh, to switch between the different um, apps within GeoGebra, you're going to click this box in the upper right hand side with nine little mini boxes. And if you do, it brings you a menu. Okay, so the CAS calculator computer aided software is uh, the fourth one up from the bottom. Very good. So we're just going to look at a few examples uh, for my incoming students, just so you could explore uh, this uh, calculator and take a look. So in eighth grade, um, you would have learned exponents, and the base is the same. So let's take a look at that. So let's try X, and I'm going to uh, click the X button here. Then with the box to the box in the uh, in the exponent over here, this mini box, that's the one we're going to click to take the cursor into the exponent. So I'm going to click that. My cursor moves up to the exponent. Let's say I'm going to make that to the fifth power. Okay, I'm going to hit the right arrow to bring the uh, cursor back down. And then I'm going to multiply this. And again, I'm going to do x. And I'm going to do this time to the fourth power. Okay. So we know from last year in, in eighth grade you would have learned that you would keep the base the same and add the exponents when you're multiplying. Okay, so if you do that though, click enter here, notice it'll give you the answer right here, x to the ninth. It adds up those exponents for you and creates a nice beautiful graph. Okay. So we'll do one more example here. Sometimes you have you could do a little bit more complicated. You could do something like x to the second. Uh, times y times x to the third times y to the third. Okay. So let's say you have something a little bit more complex like this. You can only combine like terms and, and put them together. So the ones that you can combine, you would. And if the base is the same, great. And then you just add the um, exponents. So notice how this will automatically do that for you when you hit enter. So you get x to the fifth power, y to the fourth power. Okay, so I hope this is a good uh, intro video for you. Thank you, and have a great day.